Ready? Yeah. All right. A uh, quick recap video for the Adam Perna circuit. We're here in uh, the Kathmandu airport. We're ready to fly back to San Francisco real fast. Long flight. Uh, same flight coming in, uh, passed through China. But we're going to go over some quick things over the trail. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of information about the Annapurna circuit online, so you guys could find out that by yourself. We'll just uh, go over some things that uh, we experienced, some things that we liked. And uh, first of all, you know, I do a lot of this kind of stuff. My sister, though, this is her first trek, her first multi day back first backing kind of thing. Uh, what did you think about your first trek? Uh, it was really challenging but really rewarding. I, I think it's actually much easier than people think. Even though I've never been trekking before, it is totally capable and possible. You are capable and it's totally possible for you to do the Annapurna circuit. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we did it over the course of about 9 or 10 days. It took us about a day, a day to get from Kathmandu to the trailhead. Mm -hmm. We went kind of fast. We had long days, about nine to ten hour days, I think, on average. We did a lot, and uh, it usually takes people about twelve days or so. We did it in about nine, and we added on a two-day Talicho Lake add-on, which is, was really cool. In the beginning, you start off in uh, rice paddies, waterfalls, right alongside a river, that kind of feel to it. In the middle of it, there's all these. Uh, panoramics of the mountains really beautiful and then finally it goes over a mountain pass that's about at 17,800 feet yep called, five uh, five thousand four hundred sixteen meters yep so that was really cool uh, the lake itself was about 16,000 feet something in that range mm -hmm. what would you say was your favorite place on the trail my favorite place on the trail was definitely Talicho Lake uh, when we were reading about it, it said it was really dangerous to get there because there was exposed scree slope, so I was really scared. But it ended up being totally worth the experience. Uh, we were lucky because we had good weather, so the, it was pretty easy to cross through the ski, scree slopes. Um, I didn't find it that dangerous, and then it was just the most beautiful place I have ever been in my life. It was with glaciers and it was just stunningly beautiful and turquoise, and complete magic. And I must admit, I totally burst into tears at the beauty when we arrived. Yeah, the lake was really awesome. I really enjoyed that part too. Uh, my favorite part myself is uh, in the middle of the trek, you get to choose between two routes. You could choose to go the lower Pasang route that goes along the road, which gets to the next main town of Manang very fast. Or you could climb up a ton of switchbacks, go over this route called the Upper Pasang Route. At the top of the first climb, you climb to this village called uh, Gyar Rit. Yeah, Gyar. It's an old Tibetan village. Beautiful view of the mountains. It's all Tibetan Buddhists up there. And then uh, we had lunch over there. It was really amazing. There was a guy there who was serving our lunch. Really cool guy. Asked us where we're from. We said we're from California, he's like, California, West Coast. And I was like, oh yeah, you know, like Tupac. And he was like, oh yeah, I know Tupac, like that. Like, Man, this is like way deep in the mountains, real remote, this is really cool. So that was definitely my favorite place to be. Those villages on the top of the Upper Pasang Mountain, really amazing. We also had a lot of good food on the trail. Uh, every day for dinner, we had a dish called Dalbot. You could uh, search it online. It's their basic uh, Nepalese meal with rice and lentil soup, curry potatoes, that kind of stuff. You get refills, so we got that every night for dinner. On lunchtime, we tried a bunch of different kinds of things. Breakfast, we tried some different things. What would you say was your favorite food on the trail? So I did love Dalba because you could get more of it. And on the trail, one of the most important things is to eat a lot and be nourished. So. Other than Dalba, I really enjoy Momo. So being Chinese ourselves, we love pot stickers and our mom used to make pot stickers. So having these little dumplings, which are called Momos from the Tibetan and Nepalese regions, it kind of reminded me of being home and there were different stuffings like buffalo or vegetable or potato or cheese. So my favorite was definitely Momos. Yum, 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 yum. That's kind of cheating because we made so much pot stickers growing up and we still make them today. So Momo's is really good. Personally, my favorite 
that I really liked was uh, this bread. It was called Tibetan bread. It was really crunchy, crispy. It reminds me of this, uh, this kind of bread that we dip in porridge in uh, Chinese dishes. It's kind of oily, crispy. It just hits the spot. We had it for morning time sometimes. We had it at lunch sometimes. You could get it with uh, yak cheese. You could get it with jam. You could get it with anything. But just by itself, it was really delicious. Uh, let's see, what other products do we have to add? For our final day uh, on the pass, we got up at about five in the morning. We got up at, no, we got up at four in the morning. Mm -hmm. Started hiking at five, so we had a good headlamp start. So, of all the things in the trek, I would say my favorite thing is at the top of the pass, after the long climb, after the early morning start, after the overcoming the cold weather, it was below freezing. At the top of the pass, we probably hung out for a good 45 minutes to an hour. And then over that course, we saw a lot of people that we met over our nine days from countries all around the world and to see them maybe even if this is not their dream dream just something that was really hard that they accomplished and we just shook hands with everybody congratulated everybody took a bunch of photos coolest part was seeing all the people just get up and over that pass because it was really hard for anybody really cool do you have any parting thoughts yeah i just I think um, it was amazing to go on this trip with my brother on my first trek ever and we did it in honor of our mom who we lost to cancer in June of this year so I felt we felt her spirit and my dad's spirit with us we had also lost our dad seven years ago so uh, my mom really was very adventurous our mom was very very adventurous and raised us to be the same so I think we really made her proud by going on this trek together to Buju Greece Town. Yeah, not only for uh, you know us facing loss, but a lot of people on the trail. You know, we met this guy named John, Filipino guy, really awesome. He lost his wife some years ago. They were planning to go on this trek uh, 20 years ago or something, and she couldn't make it. She also passed away from cancer, and he was carrying a super heavy pack. Just he said it was his first hike, mm -hmm. and when we met him, he was almost over the pass. So. Good on him. Good on everybody. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to everybody who, you know, attempts this or anything that is really hard in life, right? Yep. So if we can do it, you can do it. Hopefully, we've inspired you to do it. Bam. All right. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna also have a quick gear video, and then I'm also gonna clip together some stuff, some footage from the trail. I was not gonna do this originally. The first time I tried to shoot a video on the trail. I was like, oh, I gotta get the framing right, everything. I took one step back and I fell into a ditch. <laughs> and then it took me a couple hours to muster up the whatever to... Courage. To just like start again and be like, all right, this is too nice out here. We're gonna shoot a video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye. Dish, my sister Jen, peace.